So this is the entry to the cold sparky. Got coffee shop facilities here, gift shop, toilets, visitor center. Toilets obviously closed during lockdown. Well, everything else is closed. They got the tea room here. Doll's house, very, very cute. It's closed again, but when you come here next time. Here also, if you're on a camp, there's a campsite around 10, 20 minutes drive from here. Uh, it's seven pounds a night, I think, for adults. And five pounds entry. Uh, five pounds for the car park, yeah. as long as you want to stay. It's very good deal. I got the cottages here, Cove Cottage. It looks like that, I love that. And the sun is coming out again. Told you. This is such a funny weather. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways. Hi there, guys. We arrived at Lulvard Cove. It's the Jurassic World Heritage Site. We drove around three hours, I think. Um, it's not the warmest of days, but it's nice. Have a look around. We'll show you around. It just started raining, literally was sunny a minute ago and now we gotta move because our camera gonna get soaked. Let's go Kat! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Cardio in the rain in Dorset! Why not? Right, so we're just trying to get dry our hair after we got soaked. We're under the shelter. Pouring rain. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering why my hair looks like this, because lockdown, I wasn't able to go to a barber, so I have to salvage myself. And now the rain is easing, and then where are we going? We are gonna go up, that way. up there, which is quite a steep hill. Doesn't look like that, but there's quite a lot of, a lot of walk there. in the car because the rain situation seems to have worsened a bit but we've got we're ready always be ready for these kind of situations in terms of food at least music first thing you need you need a car <laughs> we've got heating on yeah, the car is steaming, no? car is steaming. The is on. and where is the coffee Oh, I forgot. Coffee. Is it really on? Yeah, it's on. It's on. The video was on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, who wants coffee? Do you have cups? Yeah, I just cup. Yeah, I don't want to set the moment. Do you finish and then I'll have it. Guys, I'm opening the cup, which means it's hot coffee and I could mess up Cap's car. Watch his face because it's exclusive reactions. It's, it's the best vlog I ever done, I think. Nice, okay, you want, you want to spill, it's fine. 
There you go, you managed to do it. Okay, one drop. Woo! No drops! No drops! Okay. <laughs> you would see. <laughs> so, I had coffee earlier in Starbucks, my first one after lockdown. So, we're gonna use this one. What's this vlog about, Kath? Just enjoying Saturday. Yeah, enjoying uh, the view. While we are here, we can actually tell people a little bit more about our, us. Back to the bathroom. Because we're in the car, so it's fine now. Okay, let's do it again. All to air, that's it. We'll take my face now, there you go. Uh, so far the day has been very adventurous. Uh, we left our house, it was very sunny and bright. So we came here, it was raining, then it became sunny and bright. And in the middle of, uh, without any warning, it started pouring down like hell. And then it's still pouring down, as you can see, the back window is all foamy. So now anyway, so we're sitting on our car, drinking some coffees, and uh, we're just uh, going through, you know, uh, where we've been, what we've been doing in this lockdown time and uh, our past. And uh, the idea was to establish Travelize, that we do that every First of all, what is Travelize? Travelize, it's uh, you, it's not us. So, any places you go, you Travelize yourself. Yeah, we, the idea was, look, Travelize is the state of who you become after you travel, and after you have, not necessarily internationally, but locally, so, because it expands your Yeah, like your if view. you've been to Paris, you travel to Paris. Let's put it that way. If you've been to London, you travel So we you put today, your mark on it. Yeah, we today uh, travelized uh, Lulot Cove. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was an outstanding day and everything was really good. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. I think uh, what else can you ask, uh, even considering all the situation, the whole world at the moment. And uh, places we guys, we've been together, so many places, so many places we're still thinking of. And uh, the thing about Eastern, I was uh, saying that we are not a massive planner, so we do things very spontaneously. Uh, during our work, uh, you know, that little off and holiday we have or the breaks we have. Because, uh, we yeah, just have let me clear, we're not full-time travelers, we're just travelers whenever and... Uh yeah, we as will, often uh, when we, we, we will work. become a full-time traveler once we uh, have full support. So because at the moment we are uh, working, uh, you know, and then uh, we savings and then we traveling for our joy. And we, exp I think it's better that we share all. The and experience. I enjoy documenting a lot and editing videos. Mm -hmm. That's why we decided to, you know, start this. Yeah, so we wanted to share everything with you guys. So you know, if you go, then you know what to do, what not to do, and if and you I guys think... need any support. Yeah. Uh, you can always uh, text us in Facebook, Messenger, or uh, yeah, is it Instagram? Instagram. Send us a message if you need even our if help. You, even if you can go to our website, we have a contact list there, so instantly you can just message us there. Yeah. And we'll be if responding. you need help for trip planning, advice, within England we've been quite a lot of places. We haven't gotten the content out there yet. But we'll do this summer definitely, and a lot of travels this summer coming up mm -hmm. for us uh, in England, and hopefully a bit of Scotland. We're gonna do maybe camping. So yeah. we can, I mean, our trips are like literally, I think what's good is we like to to know where to where it's worth to spend money for travel and where it's not necessary. So I, I would say a lot of our trips that are breathtaking and very beautiful, they don't cost much. So they are friendly for every budget and also it, they don't require much planning. We are very raw and we're not yeah. that expert and we don't do certain things uh, with uh, just to get followers. Just like, to do uh, them. Yeah, yeah like we know, for example, in the winter time you wouldn't go with your uh, white dress, uh, summer sleeve and take a nice picture up there. We can do that, but uh, I don't think so. that's a appropriate thing to do, according to my point of view. Uh, because if you're going to see that place... Yeah, just say, say again because I don't think they got the, um, the point. Uh, well, the main thing that you, the video you won't find uh, organized or like highly editing or highly decorative or whatever it is. You mean about those travelers who travel for picture rather I than am, for uh, experience? Yes, that's correct. So they're doing it for themselves so they can they, they get sponsor, blah, 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 all, all the, this stuff. But for we doing it because we love it. Yeah. And secondly, we're doing it so people uh, would get the information what is there. And we're yeah. always there for you guys. If you it's need any information, uh, then you can just uh, text us and uh, all this stuff. And we are more than glad to help you out so don't worry about anything and that's it and Justina can explain you more about it so 
Yeah, I don't know if there's anything you want to know about us. We have not spoken about ourselves who we are. I mean, we created our page in 2019 January, travelize.co.uk. Um, since then, I think we've been to 13 countries. Um, we, I mean, we have some YouTube videos, but more videos are coming. Um, what else? Yeah, like Cap said, we don't do things, um, you know, for promotions. No one is, it's not ads. No one is paying us, no one is sponsoring us. We always share our honest uh, um, views and we always, we're always open-minded to, uh, to going to new cultures and it's important for us to, when we visit a country, to, to spend time with locals. Uh, with us it's like uh, what you see that's what you get it's not like photoshopped or something like that you go somewhere and you see a picture of outstanding and then you, yeah. go, you go there and you turn up or it's not as that good as that picture yeah we try to keep everything as real as possible so that in the past we have had experiences where we would, we would expect something really good and we would come to yeah, the place come, and we'd be disappointed I think, I, think, I think we came up with the idea with that, that uh, idea yeah uh, with that idea that uh, you know like there's uh, some websites that tell you about some restaurant is really good and decent and then and we, we went and we personally thought it was like yeah and not we went there it. and we tried and i don't think so you was it was just a thing too much what do you call it uh, hyped or something uh, what is that proper thing there was a hype about it. Yeah. I mean, overrated. Yeah, overrated yeah. places. But uh, and then, then we are like, okay, if you're going somewhere and if you see this, it's okay, it's nice things to do. Then we'll just tell you guys, okay, you go there and it's nice. If uh, somewhere it's not nice, we don't like it. We'll tell you guys we didn't like it. Maybe it's an experience that you can. Yeah. So we're doing it, and uh, we are spending uh, our uh, hard-earned cash and money. Don't take it otherwise. So yeah, you, you everything don't have that we to. do, we pay for. Yeah, so we, you don't have to. So if you go there, and we are 100% certain, if we recommend something, you won't have a bad experience there. We and hope so. Yeah, if uh, we, 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 because we, if we I mean, I, I know personally myself, and you still know that if you like something, we would, uh, I think most of the people would like it. So, yeah. And also the thing about us, we don't make recommendations based on one visit somewhere. So the places we go, if it's restaurants, if it's, it's, it's something we have checked out for a few times before we give a review, I think it's important to, you know, to give, to give it a bit of time yeah, rather than rush to conclusions. Get, this get, was a little bit about us. I think it was very sporadic, spontaneous. This is how we this are. Is what we we are. Just Our mind a bit things, boggles yeah. everywhere and we go off the subject, come back to the subject, yes. you know, but this is who we are. So we're going to keep it that way. And let's hope that the weather goes away and if it does we're gonna go and show you a bit of more of the beautiful dorset area of outstanding natural beauty Actually, yeah that's it we're going that way this is an easier way it's a bit more challenging let's go the challenging one <laughs> lazy we wanted to google up some facts for you why is it called Jurassic? Well, we don't have to say that. We'll put it in our secret to find that talent later. So this is a, this is rock travel life, technically. Other, I mean, uh, other bloggers, I don't know. They would get their facts ready, sit yeah, down, so set up the shot, it. and then they would speak we'll to you. We'll go along the way. Should be somewhere to have written down. You know, like uh, the National Trust would do that. So we'll try to find it. If not, then we have Google. Refrain from saying anything right now. We just enjoyed the view, and when we have oh, our facts. Sorry, I'm just chatting away, but that's the cove, right? Love of the cove. We're gonna go up, up, up. We'll be here on your left, but on your right, you also have this view, which is nonetheless amazing. It's quite an interesting archaeological site, would you say? Yeah, archaeological. And there's a quite nice beach there. I'm not sure you can swim, but because the, the weather has been up and down today that's why there isn't many people so the cove looks like the meteor it side. Like, look like a meteor dropped here so yeah look like... and just on the right here there's a fence you're not allowed to go there oh, no, however no, 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 no. some people broke the fence climbed over mm -hmm. went in here not allowed but you can see here that the Last the year, path I think last, last time when it came in, it was you was allowed to go all the way up there. Yeah, they closed it now. Uh, I think because of the, fire, you know, what do you call it, landslide there shut off. I and think uh, yeah, there's quite a big landslide here. Yeah. And also, this is not rock, so it's only mud, so you know it's corroding. Yeah, I got the.
going to all Harry Rocks and we saw this castle because as we're going from the top of the hill we saw amazing view of the over you see the tower the ruins the ruins are that way and we're like yeah let's stop let's go so you recorded me Sorry, I'm out of a bit breath, but we're going up there. Houston, I just down there, you can see. So we'll go in the front of the castle and catch you up, guys, there. And I believe that's the gate for the castle. Now we are going in. Yeah. There you go, Houston. And all the National Trust sites, they have gates like these countries. <laughs> you, how do you open? <laughs> this. <laughs> that's it. Come in. And we're taking the stairs. There's a sign saying it's still left. Oh, the castle is closed, but. Take a look inside. Wow. It must be very, very old. Yeah. Wow, that village is beautiful. Wow. It's like I stepped into the history. Yes. It's like almost like horse carriages will come, some traditionally dressed people. <laughs> That's what I love about exploring and no plan. UK? Yes it is! We've come to one of the hidden gems of Dorset yes. and we feel like People haven't discovered this beach yet and, and we know that if we're gonna talk about it probably more visitors will come but we hope that people who watch our videos and listen they are careful to the nature and they are very good people so you're not gonna do any damage so we can reveal the location it's Totland Beach guys um, it's, completely it's so empty, just natural nothing is touched as you can see it. In Stodland Beach, you've got all these beach huts and the whole beach feels a bit more like natural compared to other popular UK beaches. Feels like you're a bit untouched and it's the sand beach. Wow, guys, must come here. This is Cap taking videos, obviously. Our microphone has died, so I hope you can hear me. And also... The best thing about this the beach Rocks is the Harry Rocks. If you cannot see it now, probably you can't. I'm gonna do a close up, so watch it now. And what else? I want to say something. It's not the biggest of the beaches. No, it's quite beach because it's at the moment but high tide, so that's why the beach is not uh, beach. Cap, when you turn away, they cannot hear you. Oh, Just sorry, guys. Uh, because of the this time, it's eight o'clock now, and it's high tide. The beach is 70% uh, I think submerged, but when it's low tide, you can have access. Yeah, it's not a lot of sand here, but wow. I think because it's locked down and uh, everything is closed, that's why it's so empty. But the background of the rocks, of the town, the sea, we're gonna take a walk. Take a walk, baby, take a walk, take a run. Well, I believe there's no human waste here. True. Yeah, like what I mean, human waste, like you know, plastic and all. If you're looking for it, you can find anyone take it with us. These are the beach huts we told you about. Very pretty. And it can take a ferry from the other side to other side. So it's mainland, but uh, the land is. Uh, yeah, there is the Totland Ferry. This is Totland uh, Natural Reserve. All the way, it goes into. Yeah, the ferry now is closed. You can see you can take a ferry to the mainland, yeah. which is the city. What city? It's Paul. Paul, yeah. All right. Oh, 
Bournemouth is like too many people goes there, no? You come here? Bournemouth, yeah. yeah. You, go, you come here. You're still going to We love wild places. A bit untouched. But this reminds me of my home country because you got pine trees, you got sand. I think you can rent this and also you can uh, buy if you want. Yeah, probably we are a bit too far to to come here for a day, but if we could like for one night, oh my gosh. At the moment it's closed because of COVID, but when everything opens... <laughs> Oh my god, Shakira, it's my favorite when I was sort of from 8 years to like 18 maybe. Sorry, yeah, it's Beyonce and Shakira. Beyonce is my all-time favorite right now. We went to her concert in 2016 in the Wembley Arena in London. It was, I would say, one of the most memorable day of my life. Sorry, I'm disturbing you have to drive. Shakira actually went two years ago to her concert in 02 Greenwich and actually didn't leave no impression to me. 